welcome back to the channel for yet another video guys so i'm going to be reacting to um zach Rushin, my first black cookout first i'm going to be seeing the video i've seen the video before i know there's a lot of us um around this one okay this is going to be my second time reacting reacting to zach Rushin. um can't wait to see this one the first one was very interested and i really enjoy it and it's medical emotional as well just hearing what he had to say so let's jump into this one all right all right i'm gonna start this one off by saying i got a lot of black friends okay most of them i got through playing football they were my teammates we've been to war together on the football field loving to death now with that being said ever since i have had said friends they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like passing a cop on a two lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Uh, anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. He says, hey buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up okay. to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick up truck, I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, really? I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. Oh. Right, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at. Okay. Mm -hmm. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. <laughs> now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches round it off like this with barbecue. Okay. And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. Right. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They say, we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay, so I ate both of them and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this I current time, I am too. almost I in a food coma. I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandma, oh, the one Mama Tika, the the call, too. she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. Back barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness, and she wants she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. Uh -huh. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there, because. She ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. <laughs> I finish this pie and I drift off into a <laughs> Caucasian kycosis <laughs> of a food cone. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went. Whew. As soon as I tipped him on the head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. Oh no. But somehow I have I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And that, the cards is in front of me and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible walked what? out in the field got some corn <laughs> took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk 
all right mm -hmm. put it in a bag went over there found some plywood in the shed cut a hole in it put it on an angle and we <laughs> toss it at each other that's what we do i have no idea what spades is so as they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game i really i look at my hand and i realize that i probably got a pretty decent hand well they asked me they said zach how many books you got which they had just explained this to me now i'm talking about mm -hmm. just now I said, it looks like Went I got eight the... books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Cause as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they are talking about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody oh. off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me, okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward Dom. His main purpose at this cookout while he's there for the whole time is I'm not gonna piss anybody off. I'm not gonna piss anybody off. So no matter what they add to him, he was gonna take it. No matter what they tell him to do, he was gonna do it. Like seriously, seriously. More toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge, but apparently, bones means oh, dice. No. I lost thirty six dollars so fast, my fucking head was spinning. He was scared. Okay? And apparently, when they yell "gator," that just a code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. Mm -hmm. I just put some more down until I ran out mm -hmm. of money, which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, mm -hmm. I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my oh, truck, and I've got oh. my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place oh, oh now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't piss nobody off nothing went wrong i went whew, i made it now as i open my door i feel a tap on my shoulder i turn around the whole damn cookout is behind me everybody oh, no. there is right oh, around no. my truck with mama t right there mm -hmm. in the front and my buddy and he looked at me he said hey buddy next week's mama t's birthday you coming back and i looked at him <laughs> bamboozled on what to say mm -hmm. and the only thing i could come up with was you damn right i'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue i've ever had in my life i don't know if you've ever been to all black cookout but i'm gonna tell you something you, get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever gonna get and the nicest damn people i scared shitless i ain't gonna lie i'm a big guy i was acting like a little bitch i didn't know what was happening but at the oh, same no. time that's the most fun and some of the best people i've ever been around in my <laughs> entire life i'm going back next week bet I told him, I said, y'all y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice <laughs> oh, or like no. or like some uh you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him. You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Y'all what y'all need? They told me uh -huh. I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me and I. Which I will be there. You there. <laughs> I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. <laughs> Why? That's stupid. I'm not pissing nobody off. He <laughs> said the only tree thing at the court that was why it was in the salt shaker and the napkin. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> but I'm glad he, he enjoyed himself. He had a belly full and he didn't piss anybody off. It's my purpose. <laughs> That's funny. Oh Lord. I really enjoyed this one as well. <laughs> Be sure to check in out more of his videos. I can't wait to see the others. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you all think of this one. Okay. And if he has more videos that you want to see me react to, go ahead and 
leave it down below and let me know all right guys i will catch you in my next reaction video